What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day today. We are back playing some Pokemon Sword and Shield, hopping onto that rank ladder for Series 8. And ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves another amazing team to show off for you guys today. Today, we got ourselves a Zamazenta team. So if you guys are hyped, make sure you support the channel by smashing that like button and clicking that big red subscribe button. Seriously, it goes a long way. Thank you guys so much for the support that has been going out across this channel. But rocking out on this team, starting off with Legendary, we're trying to show off Zamazenta over here with a Dauntless Shield as his item and Rusted Shield a Ability, or no, he's holding the Rusted Shield, and Dauntless Shield is his ability. So when he's holding this item, he gets a plus one defense boost right off the bat, just like how Zassi gets a plus one attack boost. This thing just gets a little bit more bulkier. We got Iron Head for this thing. When it turns Steel type, it will be stab, close combat for stab, wide guard to protect us from double hitting moves. And this thing also has coaching on it, so we can coach our physical attackers like Thunderous or Entei to get in that battle and dominate. We got Thunderous right next to us with Fly, Wild Charge, Superpower, and Electro of the Slowdown, Defiant Ability, and Assault Vest, so it can eat up some special attacking shots behind my face cam is our life for pokemon with entei has that inner focus so it cannot be flinched we got secret fire for stab stone edge for coverage stomping tantrum for coverage and our final move of protect we also have venusaur right next to him which will actually pair well once we get the sun set up if we're planning on dynamax and entei we can go for a secret fire set the heat venusaur will get double speed we also have the wide lens for our sleep powder so it hits more often we also have frenzy plant which is like a big stab move for him i cannot wait to use that move hopefully we get to show it off in today's video then we have earth power for our coverage move and protect as our final move. Bottom left corner is a great support mod with Spectrier. We got Grim Nate and the Focus Sash. I've been using this Pokemon a little bit on the rank ladder, and he's been great considering he learns Snarl like we have him right now. He can lower special attack. He also has Will O Wisp on here takes out physical attackers and then we got taunt and shadow ball so he takes out special attackers physical attackers with the burns and the snarls he can taunt support mods and then we just have shadow ball for our stab hitting move final spot is going to be tornadus over here as our tailwind pokemon we have taunt on him as well to take out other support mods icy winds to slow down other pokemon and protect as our final move it's also holding that mental herb and prankster ability so he gets first turn priority with a uh, with a uh, non-hitting moves but guys, if you want to use this team for yourself, rental code is at the bottom of the screen. But let's get after it. Let's hop onto that ranked up ladder and try to get some wins with this Zamazen team. First battle coming at you guys, going up against a Kiram White team alongside with a Lowen Ninetales, Metagross, Indeedee, Rotom Heat, and a Mandibuzz. Okay, so that's pretty cool. That's going to be his Tailwind Pokemon. I definitely want to bring Zamazenta in here, try to get rolling with him. I am going to bring Entei in as well, because that Metagross is posing a giant threat. He's really, really annoying. I'm going to go Zamazenta, and then I think I'm going to go... Or not. Do I try to get off a Tailwind or match his speed at least? I could go Spectre out speed and then get off a Taunt and roll from there. I am liking that. And then go Entei and Venusaur. If I get that, if I can get that Heat rolling, then we should be fine. I kind of like where we're sitting. Let's run it. Let's run after this one. Hopefully we can pick up a victory in our first battle. But guys, I wanted to just keep you guys updated with what's going on you guys already know that i've been starting to double upload more and more but this past week i haven't double uploaded yet it's due to my uh, class schedule right now i'm in like midterms week so i've been studying and doing a lot of schoolwork for midterms so we are still pumping out content making sure i get out a video every single day but double uploads will return very very soon so stay tuned for that and i cannot wait for more games to come out so i have more stuff to upload for you guys it's seriously gonna be tons of fun like when like splatoon 3 but that's gonna be a while but like another big online game that i can just grind and play as much as i can and get out a bunch of content like pokemon sword and shield like there's no story mode where i have to just like plan out a certain schedule when a big online game comes out i just cannot wait to pump out the content for you guys it's gonna be amazing i, I seriously can't wait like mario kart 9 i heard leaks about that splatoon 3 we're gonna be playing them all day long getting some online content for you guys it's gonna be hype it's gonna be hype but this guy's gonna go kiram alongside with uh indeedee we're gonna get our dauntless shield up here um i could taunt the indeedee or i think i'm just going to snarl here I really do think I snarl, and I'm... No, uh, nah, I don't have Protect on this thing. I might just snarl here and start pestering down. I might close combat as well. I can't close combat on the U. I'm gonna go for a Behemoth Bash as well. I think I'm just gonna go for a Behemoth Bash right here. The target is Dynamax. Okay. I'm gonna deal with, and I can see him Dynamax. So I'm just gonna snarl here. And I'm gonna go for a Behemoth Bash. That's double damage if he's Dynamax. Bruh, let's get after it. Let's get after this thing. Go ahead, Dynamax, and do not go for follow me. I would love to see that. I would honestly love to see that happening. Then if he goes for an Expanding Force, that is kind of scary. He is going to Dynamax Kira. Let's go for an Expanding Force. Rexair should be able to outspeed. Get off the Snarl and minus one it, at least. So there goes Dynamax. Do not follow me. If he does follow me, I'm going to be upset. Which I can totally see happening, but maybe, maybe not. Maybe I should have taunted this turn, so next turn I can get that off. 
But I think Kiram's still gonna be able to outspeed. He's gonna go for, go for the follow me. That's totally fine. And we're gonna be able to get off this and then a Behemoth Bash coming in hot. Snarl coming out. Okay, this thing has a berry, so we can get rid of its berry right off the rip. We, we do put the Kiram to minus one. I think it is special attacking as well, which is good. Which is just dandy candy. Let's see what happens here. Who outspeeds? I do outspeed that thing with Behemoth Bash coming in hot. Let's get after it. Luckily, I did not go for a close combat and drop my stats. Behemoth Bash looking so dope. I can't believe I haven't shown off this Pokemon yet. We showed off Sassian, which took us a little bit, but I can't believe I haven't shown off uh, Zamazenta just yet. Doing some nice damage there, and he's gonna go for a max quake to get a special defense boost. That's totally fine. Um, most of my Pokemon I have here are physical attackers. So there goes his special defense boost, and I'm thinking if we go for a snarl here, if we go for a snarl, we can drop this thing's uh, special attack again. We should be able to eat, eat up the next shot. Coach, coaching's nice. I kind of want to have that in the back for a different Pokemon. I'm gonna go for uh, another Behemoth Bash, try to put it onto the uh, Kiram slot. And then I guess I'll just snarl again. You know, I guess I'll just snarl again. As much as I want to taunt, I guess we'll just snarl again. Just so we can make sure we get another special attack drop on the Kiram. Because I'm almost positive it's special attacking and Kiram Black is physical. I believe somebody told me that in the comment section down below. So whoever you are, thank you so much for the for the tips. I really do enjoy your guys' tips and they, they really do go a long way. Because they kind of just stick in the back of my head sometimes. And I remember. Just like this one. Okay, make a move. Because now, now I know... Uh, Ice Rider is uh, physical and Shadow Rider is special attack, or typically used like that. It's gonna withdraw the Indeedee, so Behemoth Bash is gonna be able to do some big damage here, which I really, really like. It's gonna be double damage on a Dynox Mod. We might be able to KO. He guards, yo. He guards. You feel like guards? Come on, man. That's actually fine. You can waste out your Dynamax turns all day. We are gonna be able to snarl Mana Buzz, but Mana Buzz is physical. Uh, do I throw a burn on that thing? Or do I? I think I taunt that thing. I'm going to taunt that because I know I outspeed that. I am gonna actually I don't know if we outspeed mana boys. Spectre I might. Spectre is really, really good. I do want to go for a behemoth bash. I am going to actually roll with a taunt onto you. See if I can get this rolling here. Oh, is mana buzz dark? Oh, but it's not prankster. It's not prankster. Never mind. Never mind. We're fine. We're not prankster here. We can still taunt. But all I need is a tailwind not to get off. And I believe Spectre. Might be able to outspeed Mana Buzz. Don't which all the Kyle. That's totally fine. We just waste out Dynamax turns and we're rolling strong here. We're, we are going to be able to get off a Behemoth Bash on whoever he drops. Is he going to go back into Indeedee? He is. Okay, so that's totally fine. We might be able to KO this thing with it. Paul's going to come out here and we're going to say, hey, yo, no tailwinds for you, buddy. And I'm going to burn it next turn. And I'm going to burn it next turn. We're going to play this one slow. We're just going to play this one slow. There's no need to rush into anything. We're just going to pester around and play this one nice and slow. Here comes a big old Behemoth Bash. This might be able to pick up the KO. It's going to come close does oh no it does not like the smoke went over to indeedy screen <laughs> and i thought it was dead he's gonna end up snarling okay that's fine uh we have a physical attack with zombies out there and then uh do i actually burn this thing or i might just go for a snarl on my on them for the sheer fact that uh we can take out the indeedy with that and then be able to get off a nice shot onto the manda buzz i could wide guard if i really want to i'm just gonna behemoth bash there's no need for me to really uh there's no need for me to really uh, go into a close combat just yet. Like, I don't see Mana Buzz doing a lot of damage to my Zombies, considering we're Steel-type. This dude's in a pickle. He's in a pickle. I still have my good mods in the back for attacking. We're going to get rid of uh, a nice support mod with Indeedee. Mana Buzz cannot set up a Tailwind, so we're going to start trying to get after him. And drop a special attack, but again, he's physical. I want to try to burn it. I really do want to try to get a nice, whole, nice big burn on that. And we do Grim Nade boost. But that'll just bring us back to normal. Behemoth Bash. Oh, we do outspeed this thing. Nice. Amazenta outspeeds it. Which is great. Getting after it. Do it dirty. Doing some damage. He loves it. Right, he's going to go for a snarl again. Like, okay, you're not doing much. You're not doing much. You're not doing anything onto my Amazenta. I'm going to burn you. Actually, I might burn the other Pokemon. I do. This thing's just gonna be leftovers boosted. It really depends who comes in here. I still have my Dynamax. I'm just gonna start throwing burns around. I might go back into Kyrim. I can totally see that happening. And if he does, I'm just going to uh, drop a close combat. He's gonna go into Rotom. So I am gonna Snarl. I'm gonna pester on this thing. I think Snarl's gonna be the play. I could wide guard. Predicting it's gonna go into like an Electroweb. 
I think Behemoth Bash might be the play. Or I can just drop a close combat onto the Rotom. It's going to take me out this turn. But I'm going to go here. I am going to drop a close combat and I'm just going to snarl. Let that happen. That's fine by me. I do have Entei in the back. Same thing with Venusaur. But I do want to kind of get rid of this Rotom. I'm not, I'm not trying to deal with it too, too much. But the good thing about this Venusaur is I do have Protect on it. I do have Protect, so I can't waste out a turn. Snarl's going to come out of here. And yo, drop that special attack. Got to be buried, right? There's that special attack drop on Mandibuzz, but more importantly onto that Rotom, because we know that thing is special attacking. Close combat comes out here. Doing eight. Good amount of damage. Probably going to trigger its berry. A good thing I sent that, because I, I believe in overheats coming out here, or some fire move. He's going to Bolt Switch. Right, that's fine. And he's not buried. Zama to eat. Ooh-wee. Zama to eat. Can you eat another shot? He's going to swap into Kyrim. His only Pokemon he can. And if Zama to eats this turn, that would be lovely. I would love to eat this up. I'm going to go for Turbo Blaze. What's he going to go for here? A Foul Play. Onto Zama Zenta. No. Leave him alone. We don't eat. Okay. Okay. That's fine. We're going to get out my boy. We're going to get out my boy, uh, Entei. I'm going to Dynamax him. We're going to get here. I might set up the Heat. Now I'm just going to snarl and pass around. He's going to shake off his taunt. He's probably going to set up a Tailwind. Do I taunt it again? I might predict the taunt, so I might just go into another, uh... I might just go into another uh, Snarl. Snarl is going to be like MVP plays for today. What's called it? What's coming up big? Zama's end up posing that threat. But yeah, definitely Dynamax is saying good flare. Good flare onto you. But I kind of want to flare onto you. But I want to flare onto. Go Mandibuzz. Try to get rid of this thing. I'm just going to Snarl around here. See what he does. What are you going to do, kind sir? Think I'm going to go for a flare onto the Kyrim? Nah, son. You can swap back into your Rotom. I don't mind it one bit. Rotom's on like 1 HP. And my Venusaur should be able to clean that up just fine. And once I get off this heat, we'll be able to outspeed. We should be chilling. Should be chilling. Big old Entei. This is a solid first battle. Going the distance. We're playing pretty well here. Just slowing things down. And what's he going to go for? Kyrim's going to protect. Thinking I'm going for him. Nah, I'm not going for you. You can pound sand, man. And are you trying to go for a Tailwind? That'd be totally fine if you're going for a Tailwind. But I think we should be able to pick, pick up a KO here. Maybe, maybe not. We are Life Orb, which is wonderful. If we do pick up the KO, that's pretty much game. Let's see. We are Orb. Can we do it? We do not. We do not. So Tailwind can uh, save him a little bit here. We do get off that heat. Uh, so if they do get off Tailwind, they will be faster than us right now. Let's see. We're just going to go straight for a Foul Fly, which we are able to eat up. Man Buzz is going to get some HP back. Uh, do I drop a Shadow Ball? Or do I flare over onto the uh, Kyrim slot? I drop a Rock Ball now. We are going to flare onto the... I'm going to flare onto the Man Buzz. I'm going to flare onto the Man Buzz. For sure, fact, he might swap. But I, it's fine if we get off a Snarl. And Man Buzz is kind of like the only Pokemon that I really got to worry about. Because I can put the Kyrim to sleep once my Spectre goes out. And if I just keep minus one special attack, and we should be chilling here. Do -do 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 -do. Make a move, man. You know this one's in our favor. You know we got the tides turning for us. So two Dynamax turns. Mana Buzz is going to go down here. Unless it's Rock and Protect. But we still might be able to KO it through the Protect, considering we have the uh, Drought up now. Hmm. See what you do, kind sir. Mana Buzz is going to Rock and Protect. Wow. Good play. We don't KO this thing. Now, then, then we're, then we're, then the door's cracked for him a little. It's not open, but it's cracked. We're gonna get a minus one here. It's huge. And we pick up the KO here. There's flare. Pick up the KO for me, baby. Cool. That one hurts. That one really does hurt. Miracle Meteor comes out. Okay, so I think I might swap after this. I kind of want my Spectre to go down. I ain't gonna lie. Cool. Okay. That thing's down. I get out Venusaur. Venusaur, baby. Alright. Let's start putting Pokemon to sleep. Oh, wait. He does have a... No, that's a Psychic three, Not the Missy one. Dude, this guy's playing pretty well here. With Bonehead over here with Mandibuzz with leftovers. Eating up shots. Uh, we could go Venusaur. Venusaur's no prob for us. Um, what should I go for here? Do want to keep his son out here? I do indeed want to keep the sun out here. Much I want to go for a special defense boost. 
Mana Buzz is not gonna protect again, so I'm just gonna go for a flare. And I'm gonna go for a sleep battle onto the Kiram. This Kiram might protect here. I'm gonna withdraw Kiram. Okay. Alright. Let's try to put this road time to sleep. These are just gonna go here with her wide lens. Connects. Beautiful. So we'll get rid of Mana Buzz. And this guy, this guy honestly played really, really well. He's, he, he fought really well. He did. It's just we outplayed him in the beginning and kind of dug himself a hole. We were chilling with our zombies at that spectre. He really did just kind of dig himself a hole there. Communicating. So now all we have to really worry about is going to be this, uh, this what's called this charm, which I'm just going to drop a, uh, I'm not even going to put that thing to sleep. Actually, should I? Should I put that thing to sleep? He might protect. I think he's going to protect. So I'm just going to stick a fire on that thing and drop a frenzy plant. I don't want to see frenzy plant. I could just stone it. Stone is a pretty cool move. But it's not stab. I think I think this will do it a little bit more. We're going to go here. And I do want to rock out with a frenzy plant. 150. User can't move next turn though. Is that really the play? Yeah, I think it's the play. I think it's the play. We're going to show off frenzy plant. <laughs> 150 base damage is like a hyper beam, man. In this sun, you should be able to just get your turn back. Kind of like Solar Beam. It's one turn. But let's see. I, th I feel like Entei can just roll out here. Kyrim is going to protect here. Let's get after it. Let's get after it, Venusaur. Frenzy Planet. Yes, sir. Frenzy Plant, baby. Yeah. That would have been so disappointing if Frenzy Planet did not KO. But luckily, he was down in the red. We got to show it off. I really wanted to. Long battle here. Very, very long battle. What was that? 15 minutes about? No, that's a good one, though. That's a good battle. They get us started, and we pick up the W. We'd love to see it. We get to use some Sacred Fire and Venusaur's out for next turn. That's fine. That's fine by me. If I lose this battle because I Frenzy Plant, I'm going to cry. Venusaur must recharge. Sacred Fire's going to come out here. This may be able to pick up KO. Yeah. Sacred Fire's going to say GG to him. And we go 1 0 to get us started. That is how it's done. Solid first battle. We can hop into our second now and try to get a win streak rolling for today's video. Moving on to our second battle, going up against an Ice Rider Calyrex team alongside with Indeedee, Galarian Moltres, Feramosa, and then Sun with the Torkoal and Venusaur. Okay, I'm definitely going to bring my Venusaur just for that uh, that instance right there. He might set the Sun and roll from there. Who might he lead, though? I don't want to bring in that Entei again just for that uh, for uh, that Calyrex. Calyrex is very, very strong. He's very annoying. I don't want to go coaching Zamazenta and Thunderous alongside with these guys in the back. Or I could bring a... I maybe not need Venusaur here. I might not need Venusaur here. I ain't gonna lie. I really want to get coaching here. I really do want to get coaching. Yeah, but I kind of want Venusaur at the same time. Because Venusaur can't take speed and uh, put Pokemon to sleep. Giving me the reason not to bring a support mod. Or I could swap out maybe... Hmm... I do want Entei. I really do want Entei, though. Let's swap out Venusaur for maybe Spectre in the back end. That could be a play to come in late. He does have a lot of special attack. I think it's going to be a play. I think we're going to withdraw you. Go here. I might withdraw you as well. I am going to like this. I am digging this. But I might Dynamax, uh, what's it called, right off the bat. Thunderous. Coach up with him. I do have that Assault Vest, which could work out really, really well for us. It'll work out really, really well. But we did end up taking out Venusaur. Did I? Wait, that's what I did. I'm pretty sure I withdrawed the Venusaur and put in the Spectre. And he's going to go Calyrex and Pheromus. So he's going to coach up with that thing. And that is kind of scary because he can go for Hailstorms like that. Okay. Um, and he's going to Dynamax that thing. So I can just go for a Behemoth Bash and get the double damage if I really want. I could swap. I could honestly swap with Spectre. But then Spectre is going to go down here. I don't like The Behemoth Bash. Behemoth Bash could go here. I could just fly and dip. Because I, I should be able to outspeed. I might just fly and dip. But I, I could see him totally going for a Hailstorm here. I can see him going for a Hailstorm and trying to take out my Thunders. Let's see what he does. I can see him Dynamaxing, coaching it up, and then rolling from there. But Hingus Bash is going to be able to do big damage. And then if I can dip out this shot, I think Zama's at the outspeeds. Yeah, there goes the Dynamax. Okay. Because I could totally save my Dynamax from my end. 
100%. With Spectre, it would have been a great lead because I could have just thrown a burn right on this thing right off the bat. But I'm going to fly. If he, say he goes for a Hailstorm and it connects, then the Buffets will take out Pheromosa because it's definitely Sash. Pheromosas are always Sash. He's going to speed swap. Oh, wow. Oh, wowzers. Hard play there. They're just going to go for the Hailstorm. Over on the Zamazenta? Oh, no. On Thunder. So I thought he turned to the side. So we are going to drop there. Okay, so smart play by him. Behemoth Bash is still going to be able to come out here, which is nice. It's a crit. Takes off the Pheromosa Sash. Just fine. That thing's really, really fast now. I am going to bring out a Spectre because I am Sash and I can definitely get off a burn. Let's see what he does. Let's just see what he does. Let's see how much Behemoth Bash or Behemoth Bash can actually do. It's double damage. It's base 200 now with Stab. It's going to be super effective. It's going to be some nice damage here. Let's see it. Do some big old damage on that thing. Look at that thing still eat. That thing still eats like a champ. Alright, so they're super effective. Uh, Buffett, so the hail is going to come through. That's going to be tough, dude. Shadow Rider Calyrex is always a always a tough tough guy. Always a tough matchup. Could go Entei, could Dynamax here. But I kind of rather get out, out, out Structure. And I could just Shadow Ball on Faramosa. What do I want to do here? What do I want to do? He's plus one. Faramosa's... Well, so he's going to outspeed, so... Probably should probably be the Behemoth Bash onto this thing. And probably Shadow Ball. I could double up, but I might just Willow as well. Just in case it, pick, it picks up the KO onto my... Uh, just in case it picks up the KO onto my Zamazenta. I think it's going to be play. I don't see him wide guarding. He's gonna witch all of Faramus, or not wide guard. I don't see him, uh. I actually what I was gonna say. Oh, I don't see him max guard. That's what I would say. He might actually max guard now. It would be smart. It would be real smart. He guards after Ndidi comes out. That's what gets weird. And he is. Oh, what a play. What a play. What a play, dude. This dude's rolling. He's rolling out strong here. Alright, uh. So now he's just gonna go for a follow me. He is gonna get off another turn here. I wonder what he's gonna go for. Buff is gonna take off my sash. Oh, what a play, yo. I give this guy props all day. All day for that play. Um Okay. Much I wanna go for Behemoth Bash. We're, we're still gonna roll into it. I guess I'm rolling into that or I can't shadow ball. No. He's just gonna follow me. I could taunt it later. Yeah, we're gonna taunt this in DD. You know, we, we already know Follow Me's coming out here, and he's going to get off another shot while he's Dynamax and Grimnay up again. So, ooh. I don't like that. I don't like it one bit, man. But the taunt is going to be huge for us. He's going to go for a quick. Can we eat? Can your boy eat? Eat it up all day. Hey, yo, that's Tasty Snap. You're not going to be able to eat that up. I thought you were going to go after Zamazenta. I was going to say Zamazenta can eat it up. But Entei is going to have to come out here and do work. Change up the weather. Dynamax. I might. I think I'm going to coach Entei. The defense boost. This thing is bulking up. He's bulking, bulking. This thing is going, getting off to a strong start, which is totally scary. You guys already know Calyrex, Ice Riders, or Shadow Riders can set up easily and dominate. They're such a pain for me to play up against. They're probably my hardest Pokemon to play up against. But we do do more than half, which is good. So I can coach, or I think I'm just going to Dynamax and not even coach, because let me see the speed stats. Let me see the speeds. How are the speeds looking? The 180. Uh, Entei should be slower. Yeah. So I can go for Behemoth Bash and then go for a Flare. But that's going to be all of his turns, which is nice. The so Behemoth Bash will take out... Uh, will take out Ndidi and then a Flare can take out Calyrex. And then once Ndidi's gone, then I can start to coach. That's going to be the play. I could Wide Guard. But I think we're fine. I think we're fine by Dynamax and, and going for another Rock Bowl. No, what am I doing? I'm gonna go for a X player. Change up the weather and go after you. The match isn't over yet. We still have a, a pretty solid team right here left. And we have Dynamax. He has no Dynamax terms. But again, he's plus two. So I really have to worry about this thing. Calyrex does go first, which is scary. It definitely is scary, but hopefully, whatever Pokemon can eat up shot. I am plus one on defense on my what's it called? On my Zamazenta, so we should be able to eat with him. And Entei is 382 Dynamax, so we should be able to eat with him. I was gonna wide guard. I was gonna wide guard just in case he was gonna go for like a, a glacing that's whatever it's called. He's gonna, he's gonna go for high horsepower and we dodge it, which is huge. 
which is huge. We dodged it. We were going to eat that up regardless, considering it's not stab. It was plus two, but I think we were eating that up regardless. Needy's going to go down here. We are going to take weather control. Um, and the Calyx is going to go down here. So I can coach up my Entei and potentially win the second battle. Ooh! Your boy's buzzing. Your boy's buzzing. He's feeling real good here. It was a flare. Yo, Calyx, get out of my face. I'm not dealing with you. Today's not the day. We went 3-0 in our last video with the Solgaleo team, which was phenomenal. If you guys are trying to push a uh, Master Ball tier or high ranked, I definitely recommend going out, checking out that video, and ranking that team. Because that team is very, very strong. Someone actually used that team to, to get rank 1 on the rank ladder. It is phenomenal. This team synergy is amazing. But hopefully we can go 3-0 in today's video and go back-to-back 3-0. -back I haven't did that uh, since... I'm trying to think. Since when Series 8 first started. But he is going to go... Poor kill. He's going to go Torkoal and Pheromos. So we pretty much have this one wrapped up. We pretty much have this one wrapped up, yeah. We'll go for another Behemoth Bash, which I'm going to do up against you. And I am going to drop a... I could Rock Ball, but I really want the weather. She... No, we don't want the weather. We want to change up this weather. So your heat doesn't do as much damage as it should. <laughs> I'm not dealing with the heat. Good speed swap with the Pheromoso again, but it has Calyrex's speed. Unless it comes back in and gets its own speed. Back. Is that a thing? Someone let me know in the comment section. It might be a thing. Let, let's see. It's out speeding us. Let me know in the comment section down below if that's a thing. If he speed swaps with Calyrex, gives it its speed, then swaps out and swaps back in. Does it get its original speed back? I can definitely see it happening. Uh, this should be able to KO now, now that it close combat. Defense is down. Right? Yeah. Okay. Pheromos is gone. And this might be able to KO this thing. The Max Rockfall might be able to KO the Torkoal. It's not sad, but we are Orban and it is super effective. Let's see what happens. But we are going to be able to pick up this win, which is dope. No matter what. No matter if Zombies have to go down. Because the heat is coming out. You might go for an eruption. That might that might have been his play. But I don't see a heat wave taking out my Zamazenta in a without the job. I don't see that happening. He's gonna go for an eruption here. It's not, that's not doing nothing. It's based on his HP and we took him out. That's GG's. GG's baby. 2-0. Oh, getting started off very, very strong here. Solid first two battles. I like how they're not just too quick where we're just uh sweeping or he's just sweeping. We're actually playing decently well and uh playing slow. Dope. And I guess we'll just go for a quick here. He's just gonna cancel the battle regardless. He's not wasting his turns. There it is. Battle was canceled. 2-0. Oh, hop into our third and final battle and look for a perfect record for today's video. You guys know the deal. We're looking for that perfect record for the jeans online. Baby. Looking for it for you guys. Trying to get after it. Going up against a Dialga team right here. Alongside with Incineroar, Trick Room, Sakataka with Dusclops, and then the Kirtana and the Suicune. Okay. So, Suicune up against Entei. Not liking that one bit. Not liking that one bit. I kind of want to lead Zamazenta. A gank because he's really really good and i could go spectre a spectre is definitely gonna come out here or tornadus tornadus has that prankster but in this case i'd rather go with spectre because we can drop special attack and we can put burns on i don't think we need the tailwind i really don't think we need the tailwind we go in with you that was in this just still an absolute monster i don't want to lead the entei could go thunders i kind of want to go here and thunders in the back definitely want to bring entei in here entei's pretty cool Entei, baby. Yeah, we're going to bring Entei. He's our life orb. And I think we're going to go Thunders. I'm as a back end. Let's run it. Run it, baby. We getting after it. Run this battle. You know that Sakataka is looking kind of scary? He can. If he leads Dust Cops and Sakataka, he could go into like a double trick room kind of situation, which I don't like one bit. Not one bit. Looking scary because he has two Pokemon that can actually roll trick room. He has that Diago. He has that uh, the ability to flinch me here. The way he does. He's gonna go Dialga and uh and Dust Cops. I am gonna taunt the Dust Cops up here. And then start snarling. Dauntless Shield. We're getting that defense boost, even though Dialga's special attacking. Don't like that. Pressure's coming out. Don't dare pressure, okay? Leave me alone, that's all I ask. Our Dauntless Shield. Our Dauntless Shield giving us that boost. Uh definitely taunt up on you. Hey, hey you're not doing anything. Good close combat. I really could. But I am just going to be him back. Yeah, I could close combat. Is that thing policy? That's what it could be. I am going to actually close combat here. I can always swap you out. I can always swap my boy out. I'm going to withdraw the desk class. That's totally fine. And he's going to Dynamax to Dialga. I could have, I could have just went into a Snarl. He's going to get us get us minus one, which I don't like. I don't like one bit. Now my close combat's not going to do as much. And if this thing's policy, 
And it's like, ah, what am I gonna do now? He's gonna Dynamax him. Oh, mm. looking a little rough. So a play would be for me, after his turn, to get rid of my Zamazenta, to swap him back out, maybe into my uh, Entei slot. Cause I can see him going after my Spectre here. I see him going into my Spectre and a Sash and then him Flare Blitz the next turn. Pawn's gonna come out here. Wait. Chill on me, man. Don't do that to you. Or you can pick me out next turn. Close Combat's gonna drop here. Doing a little bit of damage. Not as much as I want it to be. And hopefully this thing's not policy. It'll be orbed. Let's see. It's not policy. It is going to go for a Steel Spike over on Spectre. But I'm going to be able to swap out my Zamazenta. Spectre is going to go do this thing here. And I am going to be able to get off a Snarl, which is going to be nice. Nice big Snarl. Snarl bar. He's going to defense boost up. Ugh. I don't like that one bit. So Snarl's definitely coming out here. And I am going to swap into Entei in case he goes for a Flare Blitz and I get Dynamax next turn or I could go Thunderous <laughs> now we are going to swap into him right Entei in case a what's called coming out a Flare Blitz we're going to get you Bought my boy back out so he's not defenses he's just total dumpsters Snarl comes out, and we're gonna minus one on that Diago, which is gonna be nice. It's gonna be lovely. Special attack drop on that Incineroar Ward does nothing, but still, on that Diago is gonna be pretty wonderful. Steel Spike's gonna come back out here. But we're on the Entei. Oh no, back to Spectre. It kind of stinks. I have all physical attacks. I have all physical. I think Flare Blitz is gonna come out here. I have all physical attackers, man. Uh, I think I have to Dynamax my boy, my uh, Entei here, and coach him up. I think that's the play. Is the Flare Blitz coming out here? It is. So, good swap by me to go into the Entei. Watch out for that Flare Blitz, and it should be really easy. A decent amount of damage. He's going to take some recoil, and I am going to definitely have to Dynamax Entei here and start coaching. So, let's get Thomas Entei back in here. Hit that coaching button. And then, do I just go for a... If I coach, I feel like a Max Quake should be able to take out that, that uh, Incineroar, no problem. Even though it is plus... Is it plus two or plus one? I'm not too sure, but coaching. And then going into here. Quake is uh, 130. But I do want to do that considering we can potentially take out this uh, Incineroar and we get a special defense boost here. Let's see what he does. Let's see what he does. Because we will get a defense boost and we will get an, an attack boost as well. But again, there's a, he's just defensing boosting up here, which is huge. Which is very, very big. Considering my only special attacker. Is my Venusaur or my big special? My strong team. And Venusaur wouldn't really do too too much up against this uh, Dialga, considering it always it only has a uh, Earth Power to do damage onto him. Because I'm not just gonna frenzy plan onto him, and and Earth Power is not stat. But Entei's gonna get a Dynamax. We are working, which we're gonna get a nice little HP boost here. And we're gonna try to get buzzing. See what happens here. Coaching, yeah, give me that. Give me them boosting. Give me them boosted stats. Attack and defense boost. And we are going to be able to outspeed all of them. So we are going to get special defense boost before they even go. Or before Dialga at least goes. And we... Oh, we don't pick up the KO. We don't pick up the KO. Hopefully he goes for a Flare Blitz on my Zamazenta or something. Along those lines. Let's see what he does. He's probably going to go for another Steel Spike. He's buried, man. Yo, get this dude out of here. Get this dude out of my face. I'm not dealing with him. Here goes a Quake. Okay. That's fair. Going for a quake. All over on my Zama. Zama eats though. It works, Zoms. At least he didn't go for a steel spike. Because that special defense boost doesn't do anything. Let's see what his play is now. He's gonna go for a flare blitz. He's doubling up into me. He's gonna go for a flare blitz. And if he takes out my Zama Zenthan, then uh, he will KO himself. Zama Zenthan is so bulky. You should love to see how much damage they can do. Um, I feel like another Behemoth Bash should be able to KO that. Uh, that, uh, Behemoth Bash should be able to KO that, uh, that what's it called? Actually, it's, yeah, it's not very effective. Ooh. I think I still go into a close combat, finish that thing off. And then we quake this turn. Get another, uh, special defense. Only the Dialga. If I can't get rid of Incineroar, he might swap. If he swaps Incineroar, that would be the play. Knowing that I have physical attackers out on the field. Watch, now he's gonna do it. Now that I said he's gonna do it. I'm gonna be mad. I'm gonna be, what you mean? 
then I'm gonna look behind me because then he's definitely behind me listening to me. Or oh, he's hacking into my uh, microphone right now. Let's see. Make a move. Who do you guys think looks cooler, Zamazenta or Zacian? Personally, I like Zacian more. Yo, yo. Is this dude behind me? Is this dude behind me? He's hacking into my microphone right now. He's hacking into my microphone here. Those combats gonna do nothing. But I personally like Zassy more, but I think Samazent is cool. Right, so we pick up the KO here. I could coach again next turn. Would be lovely. And I'm gonna set the I'm gonna set the flare at this. He's gonna be able to come out here, uh, do a little bit of what's it called? Minus one me. And he's gonna be able to fake me out. So he's gonna bring back out Incineroar. Back out Incineroar. And I am going to set the heat because I really do want it. He might set up a trick This final my Oh, he's gonna go sneaky. Ooh. He's not gonna be able to fake me out. But I am gonna be able to coach up. I'm gonna be able to coach up. And I am gonna set the flare. Just so sneaky doesn't do that much damage to me. I believe he didn't go out in Incineroar. But this is his final mod. And we do have Thunders. We do have Thunders, which is great. We do have Thunders. Oh, baby. Oh, your boy's looking to go 3 now. We get the coach up again, which is dandy. And maybe we can pick up this KO onto this, uh, this Clops. The plus 2 stab. Let's see. We don't. It lives on, like, 1. It's not. It has a free focus, Ash. It has a free focus, Ash. That's whack. It's gonna be able to scald me. I'll be able to eat up because of the heat. And then here comes a trick him. Dude, this thing legit just got a free focus ash. I hate this game. I hate this game so much. <laughs> this game's trash. Trick him's buzzing. Uh I'm just gonna behemoth bash over onto you. Then if I can get off a nice little stone edge, I really do need to. Over onto you, kind sir. See what happens. This thing really just got a free focus ash. I'm not, I'm not too worried here though. I think we're fine. I don't see my Ente going down here. More so my Zama's Ente going down. I think we did set that heat up. I think we set the heat up. Pain split coming out here. Hey! Oh, what are you doing? And here comes the Skull. Can we eat up the Skull? Hey, yo, that's Tasty Smash. I love you. Thanks for special defense boost as well. Special defense boost and the drought is helping us out tremendously. Get off a nice little stone edge. No crit though. And we, oh, we survive. We get our free focus ash. He gets his free focus ash. We get our free focus ash. The he the bash coming out here. Can we pick up the KO? Do him dirty. Get him. We do not. This thing has plenty of focus ashes today. Uh. Can we just go for another behemoth bash? We take you out. And I guess we try to go for a stone edge. I could have protected. I could have. Could have done that. He's probably just gonna go for a nightshade. Let's see, yeah, nightshade comes out here. Oh, over onto me. Can I eat that? Oh, 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 oh. Okay. Oh, okay. All right. Now we got a battle. Now we got a battle. Luckily, I am rocking Electro Web. I am rocking Electro Web. He does have trick me. This biscuit man. Get out my thundo. Get out my thundo. Let's go for a new web. New web's gotta come out here. Let's see. Let's see what you're popping in. You probably rock an ice beam. I gotta watch out for that. That, that could that could do me dirty. We have the we have the best on us. He's gonna split the pains, which I hate. Which I really do hate. He might win this one now. E dude, it's big time scary. Pains split. How much HP is he in? Oh, oh no. Oh no! I think it's one game. That just won the game, didn't it? You can come, be able to come out here, fake me out. Oh no! Really, pain split, doing me dirty, and Electro Web wasn't even picking up the chaos. So we weren't winning that one, regardless. Oh man, man! That's Cobb's MVP. And, oh, and he's rocking the Citrus Berry. He's rocking the Berry. He's rocking the Berry. I'm gonna run this one. Thunderous, you can survive here, and we go two and one. No perfect record for you guys, but still got to show off some awesome battles today and show off Zamazenta to its fullest potential.
awesome set of battles for today's video. The first two battles were nice, long, drawn-out ones where we ended up picking up the win. And then the third battle was solid as well. Pretty drawn-out, but we ended up losing. But guys, that's going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Thank you guys so much for the support, and I'll catch you all in the next one. Peace out, everybody.